Hey guys, so today is Saturday, but not the Saturday you probably think it is. Things happened. Um, I got really, really sick. I got the stomach flu, so I've been out of it. That's why you haven't been getting videos, but obviously you're gonna have gotten videos by the time this comes out. But um, today is the start of spring break and it's beautiful outside and I'm no longer ill. Um, I recommend you guys start wearing masks again, maybe, uh, cause I've gotten the flu twice this year from Brett actually. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is my rabbit Philly cheesesteak, by the way, if you've never seen her. She has her beautiful playpen that she's allowed to play in again because it's beautiful outside. And yeah, so this week for spring break, we are going to Dallas to go to a concert. Um, but that is after we go to Spring Fling, which is basically like Sweet Sweet. It's the same company and everything. So it's like a mini toy fair and it's just gonna be a big party. It's gonna be fun. And we're meeting up with Peggy, my friend, why know why? And yeah, very excited. Whatever else we do, whatever hijinks we get into, stay tuned, get excited. Hey guys, it's Monday afternoon. No, I have not filmed vlog footage in days. I'm working on getting ready for New York basically. So I'm filming videos so that you guys have regular uploads while I'm gone. And also just, you know, preparing for my trip, doing stuff. I have to like print business cards, you know, stuff like that. Um, anyway, I am going to be cleaning my rooms because it, nothing is nicer than coming back from a trip to a clean house. And like, because I've been in a whirlwind filming stuff, my area kind of looks like that everywhere. So I'm gonna get a big trash bag and do that. Um, and I'm also toying with the idea of trying to throw in a doll restoration video or no, just one, just one. Uh, but I need to figure out what dolls would be for that video because I want to do My Little Pony so bad, but I know nobody's going to watch that. And I just did a self-indulgent video with the Littles Pet Shops that I know nobody watched. So, <laughs> I mean, it's currently doing horrible. So, but it's fine. Um, so, yeah. And then I really, I want to do it, but I'm not going to because I just don't have time right now. But I really want to put the new Littles Pet Shops that I just got up. I mean, I might, um, but I'll at least put them on the shelf so they're ready to start getting shuffled in later um so yeah that's your little update on what i'm doing right now <laughs> i'm also about to film p.o box so that's going to be the big video while i'm gone so get excited well you probably already saw it i wanted to update y'all on what i'm doing <laughs> yes i hate myself and that's why i'm doing it i'm kidding um i'm shelving little spot up so i just finished doing gen 6 gen 5.5 and the unnumbered from gen 6 which this is apparently a gen 6 pet but like I don't know what the deal is with this pet, but it's from the same series as these guys, allegedly. I don't know. Um, but I got the... St <laughs> uh, excuse me. I got the styrofoam for the shelves, and it's looking good. And I cut it within a box so that it didn't get styrofoam dust absolutely everywhere. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to apply that to this shelf and this shelf, and hopefully that'll help clear up a lot of space. I did not update you at all yesterday or today, I don't think, um, but it is currently 6 p.m.-ish, so we're making good time. We have to get to Dallas by 7 a.m. tomorrow, which means we have like 13-ish hours, which it only takes like nine hours, hopefully, uh, so we should make it. Uh, and the reason we chose to do this is because we decided to schedule a concert on Saturday in Dallas. <laughs> at the same time period as this event. So the event is on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. We're going to drive until morning Wednesday. Spend the... Well, we're going to get to New York really early tomorrow so we can do things um, in the city, hopefully, which will be cool. And yeah, I was going to have a collaboration with Miniso, but they are not doing it anymore. So that's sad because I was excited about that. Um, but oh my gosh, I, I was all ready to go, but I saw in my package tracking that my package from Kika Goods uh, was here. Like it was, it was out for delivery and I was like, okay, I don't want to leave before those get here. And like, there shouldn't be any reason to, because they always usually come like around the, around the same time. So I knew when they were going to come and I was like, we'll wait. Um, but they ended up coming about two hours before I had to leave. So I was like, oh, let's rush it. We'll get a video in. So now I have the perfect amount of videos to have like a really good buffer. Um, and I also get to bring a new mermaid friend with me. Um, so Kika could send me this to be clear. Um, but the Mermaid Island and the Mermaid Choo Choo series, I did a big comparison of all of the mermaid BJDs that are currently on Kika Goods, which is really exciting. I think that video is going to be like really good. Um, and then I also brought this sweetie pie. Um, and if you watched the PO box video, you'll know that Ever After High Loves, who actually made this doll for me, made Sasquatch pants for my doll. So now we have matching Sasquatch pants. We can both be squatching it. That's a term I coined. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to put her head in a sock so that her um, 
<laughs> her lips don't get chipped. And these are new socks that my friend Queen Beans Collectibles sent me in the P.O. Box, too. Um, so very, very excited. We have a long road ahead of us because it's going to be an extremely long road trip and several flights. So yay. Right now, we're going to go get food. It's 4 a.m. Waiting for the bathroom because Brett's in that one. And I don't want to bring my blanket in there. Um, there's security over there. Uh, can't really find where our gates are, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, Brett drove for nine hours, <laughs> and yeah, we're very early. Uh, but maybe we can get like a little napping or something. And yeah, we'll be in New York by noon their time, so we're like skipping forward. We are in Jersey. At our hotel, we are a nine minute walk away from the path station, which like takes you directly under the river into the city. It's really awesome. Uh, and we're going to Brooklyn for today um, because there's a book off there that's like really amazing. And today I'll finally get to show you because I, I film vlogs every time, but I never end up doing anything with the footage because I don't do like a full vlog like this. Um, and this is just my week vlog. So yay. So uh, we have an hour, which isn't bad considering. Um, so let's go. So this is your life hack. If you don't want to pay New York hotel prices, you can get on these trains that go under the harbor, which is really cool. Um, I feel like, oh, is that? I'm confused. There's a picture. Look at that. Godzilla. Ah, they look really funny. <laughs> Too bad it's on that side. I want to see it. Why does he have like the infinity gauntlet? Oh, it's done. We're waiting on the train. Should be coming in three minutes. This is what that is. Does it look like World of Warcraft, guys? This is for you guys that don't live in the US. You get to see all this. I should have filmed. There was like an army guy that was straight up holding an assault rifle. Like, I don't know what that was about. We're in the World Trade Center right now. Oh, there's a train station. So. And here we are in Brooklyn. It's much more wide open here. We really love to come to Brooklyn. There's lots to do, but it's harder to get around, of course, because it's more wide open. Um, but Book Off is right down there. And this was actually the, how we, from our hotel all the way here, we just had to do one transfer onto another train in the same station. So this is really cool. Um, I wish there was public transit anywhere else in the US like this, because <laughs> it's great. Uh, but yeah, Book Off's down there. I'm so excited changed since the last time we were here. Oh, this, oh. I could have done it. <laughs> we're here. Well, that's the day we leave. Uh, but anyway, this is it. There's a Daiso up here. I love that brand of makeup. It's really good. Well, it's not like really, really good, but I like the lip products. Um, yeah. And then I think the Daiso is like over there, uh, but that Daiso is not that great. And then this is the book off and it looks very small, but you'll see it's amazing. Seven. Bro, that's so cool. I mean, what's the case though? Does it just happen to be in that case? That's so cool. So by the way, you guys, this book up is the one in Brooklyn. The one in Manhattan kind of sucks and the prices are really high. Um, we always really like this one, but we haven't been in a minute. So maybe the prices are high. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, and this one's really cool because they have way more used stuff. Like you'll see as we move back that way. Here's the figure. They have way more of the prize figures than they did last time. Oh my god. They were all in the cases before. So the cool thing that they do here is that they actually sort by series. Um, vaguely, they try anyway. Um, I've actually never seen these in person, the brightest melody ones. <laughs> Look at Cuckoo. Cool. Lots of love life. Always a lot of love life. Which is fun for me. And then back here, let's see more series. Exciting. <laughs> She's not over there with her friends. This is a very cute Miku. I'm just not a prize figure guy. But considering what I see prize figures go for, these prices aren't horrible. They're not great. Like, I would prefer not to spend $30 on a prize figure. But if you're not, like, regularly importing stuff from Japan, I think it's, a, like, decent. I, I won't pay over, like, $10 for a prize figure unless it's, like, one I desperately want.
Do you dare reach into the Ultraman bin? So cool. It's Alien Boltan, babe. Huh? Why is there no Godzilla bin just like this? I swear to God. It's a lot of Ultraman. <laughs> Godzillas are expensive, though. A lot of Ultraman are, too, though. Smile Precure Playhouse. <gasps> Star Twinkle Precure Carry Kitchen. Well, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to look up what it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, occasionally they have Precure stuff scattered around, but you really gotta look. Um, but basically they just import junk lots is what I assume, or they just take stuff from their, I guess book office, it's a chain in Japan, so they're importing a bunch of <coughs> the random stuff that they get in and then they sell it here, which is really cool. And there's locations for this in California too, I think. And then, did they open one in Phoenix? They opened one somewhere else that I was all excited, hoping it would be Houston and it wasn't. Oh, the Giratina kid figure in the sky. I forgot his name, the new little building friend. <laughs> Explode. Get the Nurse Joy and Blissey tin. Very cute. They never really have the Tomy figures. It's always the kid figures because I'm sure the Tomy figures get grabbed immediately. Um, but still very fun to look through two Giratinas, Dialga, and they'll have some other like weird stuff from I don't know what, and sometimes some Western stuff too. So this section it used to be sorted by series really well, but I guess it just got overwhelming, so they kind of stopped doing that. But sometimes there's like light sorting, but this is also like really fun. You could spend hours. When we first came, <laughs> we spent so many hours and so much money. Um, it was so so fun. But, um, ever since my first trip here it hasn't been as like productive with my finds but it's probably because I'm not looking as hard like I'm not doing as good of a job because before like all of the stuff I was looking for was sorted into a one section so I would really flip through each one but here I just like give it a preliminary look to see what I can find that's a love live one I think yeah very cool and then it's weird that there's so many Pokemon sorted in here considering there's a whole Pokemon section elsewhere. Um, this is what we're looking at. It's a little figures. Amogus. <laughs> this is Precure. This is a Star Twinkle thing. Um, yep, I saw that one earlier. That's so for... Face. Every familiar has the same face. Yeah. The Kion thing. Yeah, down here I saw Macross. I think I think that's Macross. Sorry, I don't know that series. I just know I have friends who like it. Um, I love these series of figures. I have the Love Live ones. They're really cool. I'm missing a few though. <gasps> Ooh, look. Did, oh, cute. I don't need it just because it's Star Trek, though, right? That is cool to see though, because I don't see stuff. Oh, cute. Here we go. Yeah, and then of course you have the Tomika Transporter. It's classic. <laughs> I don't know what they, they're thinking with the price. I actually haven't been looking at the prices, so I don't know. But um, it's a horrible price for this, but this is very cute. It's nine bucks there, so. Yeah, the prices really went up, unfortunately. Um, for $7, I think this is fair. I'm pretty sure I don't have this stop because the difference is that it, it's the pin and then it will say the stop. And I don't think I have this one, but if I do, it's fine. Um, and then this is very, very cute, but $12 is a bit much. <laughs> I think it's a decent price for like the fact that it's imported, but I know I can get that a lot cheaper, so it's fine. Um, just very, very fun. Look at little Ray in a little tube. UCC coffee, milk and coffee. Oh, she has the little coffee. I love that. It's corporate sponsorship Ray, Brenda. She's holding a little drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're, we're laughing at the prices right now, but this is an underwood petite, I'm pretty sure. Um, regardless, it's really, really good. Lucky star figure. $7 is kind of a lot, but that's kind of what they retailed for. And like I think they're honestly pricing by series. If anything was like five to eight, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. This was my golden spot. There's more pre cure. Very cute, but I would love to bring some home, but not for $12 each. Absolutely not. 
see, seven dollars is like what? <laughs> they were like three dollars or maybe five. I think it was five flat per item, no matter what it was. But they, I'm sure they ran sales and stuff. I just love these little sitting figures. I have no idea what series that's from or anything, but I'm seeing them all over. So there's another one. Over here, I don't know if I showed them, but there's the plushy, like Omanju sort of area. Oh look, babe, there's a little a mini vending machine Pokemon or Gacha machine. Shit. 45 is criminal. I guess it's from Ruby Sapphire era, but like, no. Y'all are next level. Um, oh, and I'm probably getting this. I'm gonna ask if I can open it and see what's in it because I really want the couch that comes with it. Uh, but it's a really cute, like, library. It opens up. It's very cute. I Googled it. Anyway, then we have the stationary section, which is where I'm probably gonna spend the most time because I love branded stationery. That's a love life, I think. Or is that just the same? I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's just the same sort of style. I guess that company did more. Um, oh, these are like markers. It's just, I can't tell if they work because they're used. Uh, but if they're branded, that doesn't matter because it's just a collection piece at that point. Um, but I love little notepads. I especially love little pens. I find them so fun. I don't know what Brothers Conflict is. It's cute. Eva. Um, little clips. I'm not a little clip guy what is that that is just from staples like <laughs> oh yeah just random things get in here too you know they're so cute little pencils and pens but nothing from a series that i would want i also love these little erasers i have a bunch of these um from different series i don't know and washi tape is my actual weakness if it's branded washi tape i will pay a unreasonable amount for it like i love it so much um if it's a brand that i care about obviously the level ball? <laughs> Good find. That one stuck around longer though, right? There was Demon Slayer washi tape, but I don't care for Demon Slayer. Um, and then these are all just random things. Not necessarily stationary. Um, carrying my haul, my potential haul. I don't know yet. We'll see. Look how cool these are. What are these? Look how they're on little bases. They have their Pokedex entries as their base. These are cool. And they're all Gen 3. Whoa. Oh, look. The Pichu. That's probably from the advent calendar. Oh, okay. Look at the little Pokemon airplane. A lot of these are the Pokemon card figures, which is mind boggling that they're charging that much for them. Look at that big Mew. That's cute. The Muna. The big Muna. There's a. A level ball called? Nestle? Nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's on the light. Yeah. Is that his, oh, is that his like, egg? I dropped is it. Is that his egg in the anime? Probably. Look, like look at the Gen 5 plane. Oh shoot. I like that the Pokemon overflowed. And there's more on the other side too. Cool. And then you have your bunny suit situation. And more. We accidentally got stuck in garbage section. <gasps> it's like all my hero ones. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. No. Um, and then look at the. Oh my god. That big Hedora. <gasps> 300. <laughs> yeah, those figures, they don't play around. Like the prices, even in Japan, are quite high. I've tried. The little tiny alien Boltan. That's alien Boltan, right? The scissor guy? Yeah. Look at the Ultraman coin collection. That is actually really cute. The, like it comes in a little book. <laughs> that poster as you can see more very serious from nintendo there oh my god what it, i just have to know what the pricing is at seven dollars for those amiibos you cannot nobody's paying that um Modica. i haven't seen any Modica stuff really other than these yeah they put certain series in the case all together oh there's the k-on stuff Love Live. Oh, yeah. I'm buying that. Those are really hard to find with all of the acrylics on there. Alright, I've never actually bought something from the case before. Yeah, but that, that is for me. I want that. Yay, score. That's awesome. 20 is really good, actually. I'm actually shocked they charge that. Because you'll see that they're acrylics. They charge a lot more than that, usually. I actually haven't gotten to look at the acrylic stands yet. Oh, look! Is that the one I saw earlier? I think that is. I think. Yeah. I was thinking it was green, but I think the one that I happen to own is green. I think that's what's going on. 
Um, but yeah. Sticky fingers. ReZero yeah. epidemic. Oh, is that pretty derby down there? <laughs> down here. Of course, my hero and Jujutsu Kaisen are going to have big sections. Get your uh, Dr. Stone or whatever? Of course, one piece looking like this. And Dragon Ball. Pokemon cards, which is very weird, some of these being like $3. Like, I get their foils, but like, be for real. <laughs> it's a little weird. I'm sure Peggy would love whatever that is. I don't even know. It's Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm sure she knows everything about it. <laughs> I love you, Peggy. Oh, look. Babe, is that the... I'm stupid. That's Necros... Or no, Eternatus? That's Eternatus. Yeah, that's when he's a hand. And then uh, they do have a lot of books, by the way, because Book Up is a like media store primarily. So of course we've got the video games, which we'll get to, um, and then tons of books. Uh, but this location in particular is very much like collectibles focused. The box sets are really awesome. Um, then this is your gamer section. A lot of Super Famicom. There's Mario 64. It's so funny to see it for 20 bucks. Oh, there's Stadium 1 in the U.S. with Stadium 2 for Japan. They actually have, like... What is that one? Is that Smash? Yeah. The box art doesn't read Smash to me. Why are they all so happy? Are these your good ones? Anything good? Uh, Rockman. Yeah? You like Mega Man? <laughs> and look, they're watching me, too. I'm watching them watching me. It's like different anime, like Could be something good here. This is where they'd shove a doll if there was one. We did find a doll here once. So it's possible. It was in with figures. Um, we've seen dolls in box at the Manhattan location. We might go to the Manhattan location just depending on time because it is in a good, or no, it's kind of out of the way, but it's still in an area that there's lots going on. So we might end up walking through there. I don't know, the meetup timing is not good for me at all, unfortunately. Well, there's like um, stuff out there. Did you look out there? Oh my god, look, they're, they're clearancing out the Funko Pops. Good. The original Miku and the LOL Miku are cool. Is that the LOL one? No, LOL has the bunny ears. I don't know what the cheering one is. And then your big fancy scale figures, naturally. The lighting is really good. <laughs> the Kirby section. No. There wasn't really other Kirby stuff in itself, but see, like, there's other, like, get rid of the cube pockets too. You have some, like, random paper goods. I want to look through the bags and stuff and towels, just cloth things. They've got, I'm going to put these here so it doesn't look like I'm stealing, but um, put those there for now. Uh, they've got their big Lucario. Feel free to take a picture with the giant Lucario. Uh, and then, as you move down, you've got the ones that they have kind of in the display showcase, which of course you can still buy them. But. This is a little rough because of the lighting. Um, the glare, but hopefully you can still see it. 
Oh, I love that. That birthday guitar figure is so good. 110. It did retail for a lot, but that's a lot more than I would ever pay. Sorry, I'm not cheap, guys. I just know how to use Yahoo Japan. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Kariki Hime. The Torn Wings one. I wonder how much that is. She's a rare sight. What is that? Yeah, the. Oh, why is she? Does she have a kendo stick and. Okay, weird. <laughs> um, I like the, the Madoka stuff was on the other side, but this very little. It's a really interesting Miku. I like the big, that's just like the classic art. Yeah, well, they both, I like the low buns better. Also Miku? They're like stockinette dolls. Well, there, they have dolls. Dolls located. Cool. These are really cute. I wonder what their deal is. Sankyo? I think those are mid-century. 45 seems like decent. Very cool. I don't know the name of that protagonist. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, no. I have no so idea. It's one of the few that I don't know. No idea. And then your Godzilla's. I have that one. 130, oh my god. Awesome. All right. Hopefully that footage was good. When I watch back videos like this, I'm always like, ugh. Um, but when you're in the moment filming, it's genuinely really difficult to like get, I don't know how to describe it. If you haven't done this in public, it's very awkward, but I like doing it. I like to watch the videos back, especially. Your k -On? There was very few on the other side. Oh, are they bootleg? Yeah, this one looks very bootleg. They could just be old, terrible ones. They look like- they, Cause they don't have, really have bootlegs here. Oh, look, somewhere in that goofy pose from the end of, uh, is that non- No, that's, um, Haji Mariwa Kimino Sora. We did that dance. Look, you guys, Daiso has the risers again. It's been a thousand years. They only have a few because this location is very small. Um, also, I can't really get a lot on the plane or anything, but this is exciting. And look at these little stair steppers. I think I'm gonna get one of those just to see. Um, but these are like really well priced compared to like anywhere else. So if you live anywhere near Daiso, check it. I, and these ones too. These ones with the legs aren't as good. It's kind of weird that they have the legs. I prefer this kind, but it's still very cool. Um, so I'm gonna get a basket now because I have quite a few to get. And good luck getting these home. We brought very little and we brought these huge bags so that we could get stuff home. So I'm prepared. This is actually really cool. Uh, so people can trade in their doubles. I imagine for some kind of discounted rate. Um, and then other people can buy them up. That's really cool. Um, so we're probably gonna look through those. But we have very specific tastes. Um, anyway, so this is a store called Tiso Life. We're at the one, I mean, I think there's several in Brooklyn. See, we love these. This is a new series you haven't seen. Look at this one. She like the wind? I love that one. I like the galaxy one, that's, oh my God. Those are all amazing, actually. Every single one. Oh, you like the Mickeys? Oh yeah. Look at these. We have these. Oh, this is the one where I pulled the secret. So this was the one I didn't get, right? And I was pretty mad, because that was the good one. I think that's... I don't remember. But I pulled the secret in this, which was cool, but I wanted that one, which was the not secret. That's what it replaced. <laughs> but that was cool that I pulled the secret. Like, I'm not complaining. I kind of am. Um, Row Life is awesome. I really, I really want to get these at some point. Oh, these are... Very cute. I love the one with the snow coming down. They have. Yeah, the flocked hair. I wonder if they're letting people buy out of here or something, because some of them are missing. I just, I really want the display area thing. I've seen them for sale before, but I always miss them. They sell quick. Oh, this is the My Little Pony series I don't have. So cool. Lots of Gundams. <laughs> and Sunny Angels, of course, always popular. <laughs> Chuck, we haven't been back to like a Tiso life in like a year probably, but a lot of the same series, not a lot, but like quite a few. Yeah, those are really cute. I love those. Yeah, they look like... Oh yeah. Here. Oh wow. Oh, I love these. Oh my god, the moth one? I bet that's the secret. Oh, and this is a... Oh my god. 
So cute. Oh, I love the acrylics telling you the ones that aren't in there. Honestly, that's really cute with the acrylics. I like that. Ooh, I really like these big ones. These are really cool. Wow. Really like these little blinking guys. They're so cute. Here's my outfit. So as an update, Peggy is not going to make it anymore. She missed her bus and there was no replacement bus. Um, I didn't bring the proper makeup. Um, I only brought the Winx palette for some reason. So I couldn't do the rainbow makeup, but I just did teal and then yellow and orange on the bottom. And I think it, like, I think it works. Um, and then yeah, I've added a few things because now, because when I was doing the PR review, I couldn't have things that were like branded. Um, well, I could, I'm sure, but I just felt like that would not be correct. So these are all made by Misha's Toy Jewels and she sent them to my PO box and I love them and they're finally gonna make their debut. This is the one I actually, like I wear pretty regularly. Um, and then also I put this on my glasses, Kim Milky, and my Slytherin, perfect in here. I brought this just in case. I was like, I wanna make it work and it totally does. Um, yeah, uh, Peggy was going to bring my socks as the other thing. So now I'm just wearing like flats, um, but it's okay. We are hopefully going to find a Claire's to get some socks. I think they have long socks, right? I feel like they do. Anyway, yay, let's go. We're going to the path. I look normal today. <laughs> We got here early and there was a line to get in. Uh, but look, they have some pull up makers. Um, I don't know what is going on with the prices, but it's really cool to see them. So that's the LL maker I was discussing. Um, and then I have snow maker. That's the, I think that's the bad way version. If not, the price might actually be justified. Um, here we are. section probably very bad oh there's a special Link's Awakening the, the new one oh. I've never seen that released though but I wasn't paying attention or anything there's XDN Coliseum one, 300 for Gala Darkness wow wait is, is Gala Darkness really worth $300 I don't think so are people paying that and you can't find oh, the one that I own um, I own that I swear I do I own both of those. And you have strikers, right? I thought we were missing Coliseum. I so swear I own them. I don't know where they are. We're missing one of them. I don't know where oh, it is. that's unfortunate. Well, I hope XD is the one we still have. because I, I need Coliseum right now. Prices. But I want it because it's my childhood game. XD <laughs> Okay. I'm getting you the Disney Infinity Woody. <laughs> um, here's the toy section. So there's often some dolls in here. Um, they had like a Princess Charm School doll last time I was here, I think. But we don't usually come anymore. There it is. Doing, <laughs> but you need the mail. What you gonna make 40 uh, bucks for without the mail? A special kind of attack that I want to <laughs> Bloody old attack. I didn't know that was the, the spot. Do you not know have it? I thought you would. I do not have it. Oh. We got smooth moves. This game's so used. good. Got some Japanese games. Oops, sorry. Oh, this. I always have to point it out, even though it's extremely common. That's the first one. So this is the one that's like awful. Greenfish. That everyone complained about. <laughs> and they had to fix it. Oh, is this Harvest Moon? Oh, is that one? Yeah. Oh, and there's the revised version. <laughs> Are you looking for Harvest Moons in Japanese? That actually doesn't look as much like the Harvest Moon part, uh, art style, so I didn't catch it. Oh, it's 64 here. I'm shocked I recognize that, because that's not the art style I'm used to. They have so much of Pokemon Stadium, oh my god. 
It was already popular in general. The media. See, this stuff used to be at the other location as Wake Up Girls. This is actually a lot. Yeah, they didn't used to have very much at all, and it was really stupid because this is book off. quite a bit. There's the Mikus. And oh, I want this figure, but $80 is actually insane. I have the Nozomi one. Those are very cute. But they're they're figmas, but they're like I think they're called fig figs, so they can't move and that's just dirty. This is actually a really nice bright figure. And now I know. I don't think that's price for me actually. But it's so small. I've never seen that one. Um, but now I know to find that on Zen Market. Who I'm a partner with. <laughs> um Oh, did you see the Build-A-Bear Isabel baby? It's a good Build-A-Bear Isabel, and they have the Cora or Makar, or no, that's just a Cora. Let's remove the They have, oh wow, very little left. Oh, they have that same figure again. Oh. Oh yeah, oh, there she is again. That's the third one we've seen. Oh, that exact figure? Yeah, they both have that as well. Oh, these actually look really good out of the box. It was like 18. Wait! Yeah, like okay, 30. I no longer hate cute poskets. Congratulations, guys. I never hated them. $30 with no handbag. I think they just didn't notice, but that's... <laughs> surprise. Yeah, I mean, 30 bucks for prize figures is absolutely awful, yeah, but considering, off. like, the location yeah, and stuff... Yeah, the book off had two of these for $18. Yeah, the other book off is better than this one. Well, I think this one it's might... Better for me, though. Yeah. It just sucks that they're so far away from each other, so realistically, you can't just build a boat. I mean, you can. Oh, is it The other one was colored one, too. <laughs> well, the other one is super terribly colored, too. Um, Alright, then we have the acrylic stands, which I am. I used to think, like, why would you want an acrylic stand? Why would you just get a figure? But now I get it. I love acrylic stands. <laughs> Is that pickle? Pickle cup. Pickle, I hate pickles though. That's very cute. Art. Are they actually somewhat sorted? Yeah, there, there were Love Life figures that were all kind of together. Uh, weird how much Love Life stuff actually is sticking in. Where? <laughs> I'll never find it. Uh, this is this is the holy section. Dang! So this sec this store is just as good as the Brooklyn one now, I guess. These are better priced. Huh? I wonder what happened because the Brooklyn one was so good. I think they have another of that um, Eurocamp figure that you were talking about that you just saw three of. This one right there. Oh, here's your Dragon Quest pencil. I didn't actually. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a Canon. I know it's just Canon, but I'm differentiating them. And then here. So, 
Oh wow. That's something. You go, you guys. So, if you want to dig through anime merch and find your one, good luck. <laughs> but it is genuinely fun if you have like a lot of time. Oh, that is a cute Yoshiko. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't have this one. Okay, you guys, look. They actually have like monthly magazines and stuff. So I actually don't have this one, which is cool because I have a lot of them. And I don't have this like special version and it comes with a clear file. How cool is that? So I'm looking through because I collect these magazines specifically because I like the <laughs> Love Live stuff, of course. But I also would love to have um, ah, Koro Koro, but I don't know where it would be if they have it. Um, because I don't know Japanese yet. I chose to learn Mandarin for some reason. Um, but this is so cool. Oh, Love Live Days. Oh my God. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to carry these around all day. And as you can see, got all sorts of books and manga as opposed to books. Uh, but yeah, it's, this store is really amazing. Love it. You've got the Nendoroids, of course. Did Shiro get re-released or something? I thought she was expensive. At least she was at some point. Maybe No Game No Life fell off in the public opinion. Oh yeah, this is a good section. Look at all that. Awesome. Never any Godzilla <laughs> sells out. And yeah. a lot of figures, of course. They're all very expensive. I recommend if you come here to look for figures, just come here, see what you want, like identify that the figure looks nice, and then go home and try to find it online because the price is very high. I mean, I, I guess that's me because I'll do that to save like 20 bucks, but if the trouble is worth that, you can face is so cute. Um, I haven't found any dolls, except those pull-ups, which was cool. Oh, there's some Godzilla. I guess that's new stock they've decided to. Oh, pop-up parades. I don't really like pop-up parades. Oh, they have like a, that's the upstairs we never go to. But they've they've completely rearranged the store, but it says the second floor is fiction books. So I don't think that's for us. Fiction, non-fiction, and coffee table books. Oh, it's like a cool, I love a loft. Yeah. We're going down to the basement for the other CD. And an earlier round, sugar, we're going down swinging. The Godzilla Chronicles. I don't know. They got Pokemon. They got a Journeys manga. Oh no, that's the CDs, I'm stupid. It's DVD, oh my God, I'm dumb. Cinema. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even notice it before. Um, I don't even know if it sells for that much online. I know it's a stupid price on the internet, but unless you grade it, I don't think it sells for over like 2k, right? Um, so. <laughs> well, I just know because people always talk about it because it's just. <laughs> Stadium 2 for $85. Mario Golf with the worst cover you've ever seen for $60. Yeah. I don't know, maybe don't shop for games here. It's not worth it. But, I mean, maybe if you're shopping for newer stuff, you might get a decent price on something if you just don't feel like using eBay. 50 bucks. Is it worth? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a little pile going on some CDs. Hey guys, we're on our way to FAO Schwartz to go see the Decor Girls set up. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping it's still up. I'm not sure. Um, and then after that, we have a meetup and then we have the event. <laughs> so we are on our way to the meetup now and at FAO they give these out to people. So now I have the right one. Because if you don't remember from my review, I don't know if I said it, but they gave me Dick Poe AA girls, and that's a zero also. 
Uh, that was really sad. Uh, but the people at the counter were like, oh yeah, we have those. Oh my God. <gasps> and then also they gave me the alternate version of the... So I have one of these sets, but these are different sets than what I have for the barrettes. So that was so sweet. And I've been able to replace my sticker sheet because I use a bunch of them in my hair. Uh, so super cool. So these are the things that came in the PR kit. So if you buy them at FAO, you get them. Uh, so that's awesome. The meetup is underway. We're at the World Trade Center. So there's the Black Tsunami. <gasps> what? You're here? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, but look, they have the Pop Mart doll, the Molly dolls. But these weren't the ones I wanted, but they're still cool. Um, I really want those dolls that sold out instantly. Oh, their stands are great. Oh, and they have a little container for their accessories in the stand. More dolls need to be bought. It's very smart. Very cute. And I called it poop fart, so I think I'm gonna get kicked out. Because <laughs> you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Look, we are at the doll meetup. Say hi, everyone! Hi! hi. <laughs> so everyone's here. I'll tag any of them who want to be tagged in the description. <laughs> Good luck, yay! I love Darling, just the one standard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. The doll meetup. Here they are. Yeah, well, okay, look, I haven't, I haven't heat met their hands so they can go together yet. You guys, you can't just loiter. You can't just sit here, you guys. <laughs> doll meetup. Business. <laughs> We, are, we have a new friend and we lost one, so Don Link has arrived, and these are Don Link's dolls. Wait, okay, whose dolls are whose? We have Doll Struggle, um, it's yours, right? We got one. Yeah. Okay, yours. <laughs> Wait, what is Valid Venus. What username is that? Is that TikTok? No. Um, that's my Discord. Oh. I'm gonna transition. <laughs> I like that. Valid we Venus. Okay. Like and then we have yours, which yours is. Uh, oh, um, you, you got to start over. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens if we don't exchange names, guys. Yeah. So we just okay. gave them. I literally that's showed you my bracelet with my name on it. It's just Julie. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, what's your ad though? Oh, on Instagram and TikTok, it's gonna punch the moon. Yeah, gonna punch the moon. That's right. And then these. Yay! Blanky! <laughs> yeah, you, you moved. You were back there. Oh, yeah, I'm here now. wait. Okay, so these belong to. Um, what was your attitude? Um, dots underscore XO. Yeah, underscore. dots underscore XO underscore. And then these are dot links, but it's like linke. <laughs> and I've always heard that username wrong. And then these, I don't know, irrelevant. <laughs> oh, he's not paying attention. This is CV Designs. <laughs> and this is the Blix who's not me. <laughs> and this one's mine! Whee! And this is uh, mine now. I'm stealing this one. <laughs> and then what was your app? Dapple Dooley's. Dapple That's right. Dapple Dooley's. This is Splatoon Core. <laughs> Love it. And there's the businessman. <laughs> and everybody's here having a blast. Ooh, hi! Alright, I'm ditching them. They're hanging out without me. They're here. Oh, y'all are cute. Wait, this is adorable. Bye. Now I have to go on a ferry, I think. <laughs> Ooh, I like that pose. Cute. Can I have that? No. <laughs> it's like a layer of ice on top of plastic, because I assume that's how it works. Can I like just, you know that video of the baby girl, you know, the Unreal Engine uh, gummy worms? That's, that's, anyway, that's the thought. Oh, look, and that's all ice melting too. But it, it's not even cold. How is that still there? It's like, how does this work? And then, look, I didn't realize we were on the water. That's so pretty. We could have hung out out here. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. I didn't know we were anywhere near the water. Huh. Cool. All right, we need to ride a ferry, allegedly, which sounds really dope. We're on a ferry right now? Um, I checked my transit app from the meetup, which was in the World Trade Center, um, and it was like, minutes and I was like oh wow that's amazing like what I thought it was gonna be longer than that and then it said get on the ferry so apparently they just in the, like they have trains buses and a boat and this thing ran in you ran up huh just one boat yeah the, a boat like I don't know um, but look is that Jersey side or yeah that's New York how cool 
cool is that? I wonder if we were allowed to sit on top. I would like to sit on top. My hair would probably get really messed up though. This is so cool. Hey. <laughs> we're waiting in the registration line, and here we are at Spring Fling. So this is a new event they've never done before, but they did one comparable like at around the same time last year. Um, and I'm not sure what to expect at all, but I see what I want. <laughs> We are currently done with the event and we are walking to go see my friend, Diet Plastic, which I'm so excited about. I've showed you his collection before um, at his house and it's so cute. And check out this guy, get a load of him, adorable. <laughs> uh, but we have a long way to go, unfortunately. So we just, we are just walking. Oh, he's so low to the ground. <laughs> there's so many of them, Brett. Look, there's another one. That's a chihuahua. I love those little guys. Aren't they so sweet? It's so cute. It's like, look at her. Yes. Oh my God. The butterflies in the hair and the bees. Oh my God. So it's now 10 p.m. I just finished having dinner and hanging out with Diet Plastic, which they are, both of them are so fun. I've only ever met one of them before. So both of them being there was so cool. And we just played Decora Girls basically. <laughs> well, we were just talking for most of it, but then we opened up the decor girls that we bought. So sorry, no unboxing, but it's worth it. <laughs> um, and I'll be unboxing those characters again because I'm certainly going to be getting doubles. That's that's what we want to do. Um, but as you can see, I've become weird looking, <laughs> a weird half and half. I think this is worse because in my opinion, like if you're in like half costume with like crazy makeup on, but no wig and stuff, the context isn't there. But if I have the wig on, it's like, okay, she's doing something, you know? Anyway, so we have uh, an hour long train ride to go. And then we'll be back at the hotel. We have time to do like one thing tomorrow and then back to Dallas. Woo! So yeah, good night. Well, I don't know. I don't know what time you're watching this, but regardless, go to sleep. It's time. Just get a little nap in. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm leaving the hotel. I've lost my voice, but we had a ton of fun. Um, similar outfit to the one I arrived in. And we only have one extra bag now. So we've got one that will go in the overhead Brett's got his backpack, and then I've got this as my carry-on, and yeah, it's like it's almost noon, I guess. We check out at noon. I don't know if there's anything we can do in Jersey except like go to the airport because we have like four hours till our flight, but it's fine to be early, but yeah, back to Texas. Hey guys, it's been a while since the last update, so today is Saturday. We are in Dallas. We got here yesterday, like at literally 11 p.m., um, so basically, we have a concert on Saturday, so I think I explained that earlier in the video, but like, this was such a weird idea because now we have nine hours to drive home tomorrow, or I guess tonight, I don't know what we're doing. Um, but anyway, we had like the most horrible travel day yesterday, so that's why I didn't film like anything. So first we had a flight from Newark to Houston, and it took four hours I don't know if that, or over four hours, because we were on like, the, the wind was going opposite our plane and we had like tons of turbulence, it was like scary. Uh, Cause the, usually the pilots are communicative about it, but this time he was just like, all flight attendants sit down and they like ran to the back with their trays. And I was like, cause they were doing the little cart thing. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? Um, and then they didn't come back out for a long time. Like, I guess there was just turbulence, I don't know. Um, and then they forced me to gate check before that flight. But when I gate check the flight, the bag's always available at the gate. It's never been a problem before. Um, but this time, <laughs> we gate checked it, and then we get off to connect to Houston, because we're in Houston, and we need to connect to get to Dallas, because of course, why not? Wait, not a waste or anything, a 30 minute flight, whatever. Um, it's not at the gate, and they're like, oh, it'll make it to your final destination. I was like, but I gate checked it. Like I didn't check check it, and we're like, it's fine, whatever. And then we get there, and we go to the, we get a text like as soon as we land that was like your bag is not missing but like you're not gonna get your bag <sighs> so we go to the like baggage helping people and they were like oh sometimes it just says that I go to the carousel it's not there and then they're like oh that's weird it never left Houston I'm like yeah that is weird isn't it <laughs> um but luckily it appears to have arrived they said it on some other random flight and it is here um but I'm an idiot because I never put anything important in a bag that might get checked but this time the mini me doll is in there just because that's how we ended up packing like it was because i just figured we could bring it on the plane because we only had three bags between the two of us so only one carry-on that would go in the overhead so it would have been perfect but <sighs> but anyway crisis averted allegedly 
Allegedly, it is at the airport. So we're gonna go pick that up. But today we are thrifting. Yay! I've never thrifted in Dallas before at all. And I'm from Texas. So I've thrifted all over Houston, which kind of is not very good for it. And I've thrifted all over Austin, which is really, really good for it. But I, I guess there's weed and dogs at this hotel. <laughs> hey guys, I think it's been two weeks since the event that I was at in New York. So it's been a minute, but um, I'm home. It took a week just for my bag to arrive back to me. So um, I, I vaguely mentioned it, but I was at the airport in Dallas, but we didn't make it in time because we had a concert. And in theory, we could have made it, but we didn't realize that we can meet the artist after the concert because it was a small enough concert. So we were like, we're staying for that. Uh, so we didn't make it in time to go get my suitcase, but I was like, it's worth it because I realized that my mini bee doll actually wasn't in the suitcase. I kept her in the carry on, like the personal item. They, they don't make you check a personal item ever, which anything that's like super important to me like that, if it's at all possible, will be in my personal item. Although if you only have three carry ons between two people, generally nothing weird is going to happen like that, but Anyway, I got my stuff back. It was just the things that I purchased. So it would suck if they went missing, but it wouldn't be like the end of the world like it would be if my doll went missing. Um, although losing those Decora girls would, would have been terrible. Uh, so anyway, I bought stuff. I bought a bunch of the Love Live Days magazines and G's magazine because they're really cool. Um, so these will be added to my collection. I've been really wanting more of these magazines and stuff, but buying them, I can get them for great prices from Japan, but the shipping ends up being a lot because they get pretty heavy pretty fast. Um, so I got uh, one, two, three, four. This is the one I'm the most excited about because Mia is my favorite. So yay. So cute. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a whole Mia page there. Where'd you go? My baby. Um, so yeah, bought these at Book Off, like I said, that was cool. And then uh, I also got a bunch of these, like I showed you guys at Daiso. These are awesome, and if you can get them at Daiso, run. Even if you don't have a use for them in your collection now, if you're going to continue collecting, or if you just have like a vague idea that maybe you would want to use them, these are so expensive online, and from Daiso, they're like a dollar each. Got pretty scratched up and dirty in my suitcase, but... I think it'll probably be fine because I really had to jam these in here. And then I also found these new like stair stepper ones that are really cool. Um, I There weren't a lot and I didn't have a lot of space in my suitcase. So I just got a few of these risers. But um, I stuffed my suitcase really well. Like that's that's what I'm looking at right now. There's a bunch of these as well. We got, I mean, it's more risers. What do you know? These are actually a really cool size. I use them for my Disney dolls. These are really good and I ran out. So great. Uh, I also got this because I'm always looking for sticky notes that are like this big, but for some reason they're hard to find. Um, that was at Daiso. I got the acrylic Love Live set, which I'm really stoked about. Uh, it's cute. It has the little backdrop piece and then the two sets of acrylics to make your full little um, like dance scene. It's extremely cute. Or I guess like performance scene, same thing. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited to get this on display. I have extra room on my Muse display right now for this. It's going to be awesome. And yeah, they look adorable. And it was 20 bucks, which I think was a pretty good deal, honestly. I also got this from Sunny Days Entertainment. So I got the lemonade stand. I'm going to be doing a short video review of this. And I also have any other Honey Bee Acre stuff that I purchased that I have not reviewed yet um, from the like fantasy theme that they did. But anyway, I love this. So cute. Um... The Soppy Sid people gifted me these. Oh my god, is one of them the- Okay, no, it's just yellow. I was like, if that's the rubber ducky one. Uh, but anyway, if you didn't watch my uh, vlog of the Spring Fling event, these were these cool reusable water balloons that work really well. Um, and they've offered to send me more of them since, but I would feel bad accepting them if I don't know what video that I would do with them, because sure, I'll take the free product, but, like, if I'm saying that I'm gonna do something in exchange, uh, but I want to do something with my mermaid tail, maybe, but these I really, really like and I'm very excited about. I think these will be fun. Um, if my pool actually worked, that would be great. I mean, technically it works, but I also was gifted this by Littlest Pet Shop, which is really exciting because this is like a PR sample thing, but I've never seen this one before. I don't know where they give this out, but I got this little giraffe. Uh, so I will not be opening this because this is actually just a regular pet, but the thing that makes it special is that it's in this sample, not for resale packaging. 
very cool. I wish that they had done an exclusive one, but honestly, that would be very unfair to everybody else, but it would be exciting for me. And there's, like, licensing show exclusive ones from the original set, so it's, I don't know, that would have been cool, but I'm very happy with this. I, I was really excited. And, um, there's another acrylic riser. I fit a lot in this bag. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, I got some random stuff from Book Off that's just scattered about. These were gifted to me at FAO Schwartz as, like, a purchase with purchase thing. They were for Decorah Girls. Super grateful for that. That was really cool of them because it was supposed to be if you make a certain amount of purchase, but they were like, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I love that you showed up as Decora. Take this. And then... I also got this Smile Precure, like, library thing. Uh, it's this, like, little mini set, and I'm not 100% sure what it's even for. Like, is it for these little... I don't know. Uh, but I thought this was so cute because it comes with the little books. It comes with, like, this couch. This stuff. Yeah, I have no idea what this is, but I thought it was really cute. It was well-priced. I don't even remember what the price was. Um, but I thought it was really neat. And I did not end up getting the Star Twinkle Precure thing. I just, I, I looked up what it actually was and it wasn't that interesting to me. Um, I was also gifted one of the Fresh, Fresh Squad dolls from the Fresh Dolls, which I'm very excited about because these are like some of the best boy dolls I've ever seen in my entire life. Unfortunately, to fit him in the bag, I had to unbox him, but he will be featured in like a bulk unboxing video so that I can do like a mini review of him. But I'm super excited and I hope that I can get a hold of more of these because they are really, really cool. We also got some Cats vs. Pickles, which um, these were gifted as well. I... There are two. I don't know where the other one is right now. Uh, but Brett and I will be unboxing these. And yeah, there was some other stuff, but I don't know. It wasn't in this bag. I just, I haven't gotten all my stuff out of this bag yet, even though it's been like a week since it arrived back to me. So I thought we could do it together. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. I had so much fun on this trip. The toy show itself would not have been worth it considering the price of the trip and stuff. It was fun. But um, the only like really new thing for me anyway that I got to look at was the Eiffel Tower Miraculous Play set and I guess kind of the Playmobil stuff. Um, everything else was just kind of stuff that I've probably, like I've seen before in detail or at multiple shows already. Um, but it was still very, very fun. And honestly, I felt like this show was a lot more worthwhile than the last one. I felt like it was more fun, more engaging, more people showed up. Um, I don't know if more companies showed up, but there were definitely more, like, people around. Uh, but the way I make these trips, like, worth it in terms of the monetary investment that I do to go there is by doing the little meetups that I do and all of this other stuff. So, um, I had so much fun. That meetup was really, really exciting. Just as fun as the last one. Um, and we got to do a lot of cool stuff considering how short our trip actually was. Uh, I was really sad that my friend Peggy couldn't make it, uh, but she'll definitely be here for the next one. I mean, most likely, I don't know. I don't know her, uh, schedule, but... I will do everything in my power to make sure she'll be here for the next one. We'll definitely schedule her bus, like, the day before instead of the day of to make sure that missing the bus doesn't cause, like, a catastrophe again because that was so heartbreaking. Um, and it was, like, that the bus stop was in the wrong spot or something. It wasn't just that she, like, just did not make it to the bus or something. Um, but, yeah, super, super fun New York adventure, and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you liked this style. I always vlog like this when I travel, but I never end up doing anything with the vlog because I don't know. But I've been really enjoying doing these like weekly vlogs, although now I'm very behind on doing weekly vlogs and I have a ton of videos to catch up on. Like um, I went thrifting all of last weekend with Nicole, which I think is Queen Beans Collectibles, which I think is going to be like three videos, by the way. So get excited. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I still have thrift videos that I have not uploaded that I need to catch up on. Uh, tons of reviews and things. Uh, very exciting time right now for me. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!